بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ مائی ڈیئر بردرز اینڈ سسٹرس لائف از فیلڈ وتھ اسٹریس اینڈ ایز ہیومن بینگز وی ڈو انڈر گو سم سارٹ آف اسٹریس دا پرابلم اسٹارٹس وین اٹس ناٹ ہینڈل پراپرلی اینڈ اٹ گوز آؤٹ آف کنٹرول اینڈ ٹرنس ان ٹو ڈپریشن ان شاء اللہ ان دس ویڈیو آئی ول شو یو سیون سمپل اسلامک ویز ٹو ایلیمنیٹ یور اسٹریس We know that we face challenges every day. Financial pressures, career issues, health problems, relationship issues, the atrocities upon the ummah, these are all problems that negatively affect us. But worry not, my dear brothers and sisters. These are not new problems. They exist today in America, Europe, India or any part of the world. is this existed in the 7th century arabia alhamdulillah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided us solutions to every problem and challenge in our lives dear brothers and sisters two things before we proceed further first watch the video till the end with good intention to be rewarded for your time don't listen to the whispers of shaitan second understand and take action to implement each step in your life remember allah changes only those who change themselves number 1 he listens speak to him yes he is al sami' the listener he is the one who always listens to his slave speak to him transform every anxiety fear and concern into a supplication consider these moments as opportunities to submit to allah finding comfort in frustration where you are closest to allah although allah already knows your heart expressing your desires through supplication is an act of submission that he encourages The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam emphasized the importance of seeking help from Allah stating that those who do not ask him for anything incur Allah's displeasure Being specific in your supplications is encouraged by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The Prophet peace and blessing of Allah be upon him advised believers to ask for precisely what they want is making vague duas go against the essence of worship if you want wealth ask for it halal of course if you want health ask for it if you want someone to get married to ask for it if you want children ask for it establish your connection with him a private connection a secret connection allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious quran in surah al-a'raq call upon your lord humbly and secretly fear him but don't lose hope in the same surah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and call upon him with hope and fear number 2 tie your camel do you a part in a moment observed by prophet muhammad peace and blessings be upon him a bedouin left his camel without tying it upon questioning the bedouin responded i put my trust in allah the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam advised tie your camel first then put your trust in allah is crucial for muslims not to adopt fatalism while recognizing that allah is in control and his decreed all things each individual bears the responsibility of making right choices and taking appropriate actions in all aspects of life action must be taken to address the challenges faced by oneself family and community as the quran states verily Allah doesn't change men's condition unless they change their inner selves. Transform worries into duas and duas into action plans. This approach demonstrates commitment to request and directs energy towards meaningful solutions. Similarly, Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala says there is nothing for man except that which he puts efforts for. 
yes we try out best and leave the result and the rest to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our role our responsibilities is to put efforts and the results we leave to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have firm faith that allah will never waste your effort number 3 leave the world behind five times utilize the five daily prayers as a means to shift your focus towards the hereafter detaching from the temporary attraction of this world the 10 to 15 minutes for each prayer are opportunities to reconnect with the lord making the relation stronger each prayer is an opportunity to de-stress and become spiritually strong do not take the salah as a ritual or just a burden as soon as the adhan the call to prayer reaches your ears initiate the process of distancing yourself from the world while performing wudu let the repetition of the shahada the declaration of faith accompany each water drop as it slips down your face hands arms and head is you stand prepared for prayer mentally ready yourself to leave the concerns and stresses of this world behind despite inevitable distractions from shaitan during the prayer redirect your focus back to allah whenever interruptions occur consider the salah as an anchor that keeps you attached to allah The more consistently you return the greater the reward from Allah ensure that you are sajdas your prostrations are sincere and communicative moments where you genuinely connect with Allah seeking his mercy praising him and asking for his forgiveness Number 4 seek help through sabr patience and prayer often overlooked but my dear brothers and sisters these are two essential tools that serve as powerful stress busting mechanism while sabr is commonly translated as patience its meaning extends beyond mere endurance it encompasses self control perseverance endurance and a focused struggle to attain one's goals Unlike patience which may imply passive acceptance sabr involves a duty to remain steadfast in the pursuit of objectives even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges in essence sabr encourages a positive engagement with life's trials it goes beyond a passive waiting game and urges individuals to actively endure persevere and strive towards their goals the concept of sabr is a dynamic force equipping believers with the mental and emotional resilience needed to navigate the ups and downs of life incorporating both sabr and salat into our lives becomes a holistic approach to managing stress it encourages a balanced perspective where passion becomes an active force and prayer a spiritual refuge together these tools offer a comprehensive strategy for navigating life's uncertainties while maintaining steadfastness in seeking comfort in the divine number 5 you are not running the world It's crucial to recognize that we lack the control over all variables in the world. That domain of having control over everything belongs to Allah only, the wise, the all-knowing. At times our limited human faculties struggle to comprehend the wisdom behind events that unfold for us and others. acknowledging that Allah is in control and is human being submitting to his will enriches our humanity and deepens our obedience or budiya towards him twelve into the story of Musa alayhi salam and his encounter with the mysteries behind Allah's decisions read understand and reflect over the powerful verse of ayatul kursi Allah 
there is no deity save him the ever living the self subsistent fount of all being neither slumber overtakes him nor sleep he encompasses all that is in the heavens and on the earth who could intercede with him without his permission he knows all that is apparent to humans and all that is hidden from them they can only grasp what he allows his eternal power spans the heavens and the earth and sustaining them does not fatigue him he alone is truly exalted tremendous the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam recommended reciting this verse known as ayatul kursi after each prayer once during a challenging period ali may allah be pleased with him found the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in sajda repeatedly uttering the words ya hayy ya qayyum words derived from this verse ayatul kursi number 6 tawakkul trust in allah begin each morning by expressing gratitude to allah for the gift of life after the transient slumber card sleep as you step outside invoke the words in your name allah i put my trust in you and there is no power or force except with allah bismillah tawakkaltu ala allah wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah Embrace the night with the remembrance of Allah letting his praises linger on your lips once you have devised a plan to address a specific issue or challenge in your life entrust your affairs to the most wise and the all knowing fa idha azamta fa tawakkal ala Allah inna Allah yuhibbul mutawakkilin When you have taken a decision, put your trust in Allah. Allah loves those who rely upon Him. When you start putting your trust in Allah, Allah will love you. Those who are loved are not given stress. Infuse your day with reliance on Allah by maintaining a continuous remembrance of Him. When the night falls and you prepare to go to sleep, recognize that sleep mirrors a form of temporary death. Hence one of the recommended supplication before sleep is with your name with Allah's name I die and become alive Allahumma bismika amutu wa ahya Number 7 connect with humans and animals Remember my dear brothers and sisters Our deen is not just the name of few robotic rituals as in some other religions. It's a practical religion. Islam places a significant emphasis on compassion and kindness towards all of Allah's creation. The Quran mentions, And we have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as mercy to the worlds. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam exemplified this mercy in his interactions with humans and animals alike building connections based on compassion and empathy is not just encouraged it's a fundamental aspect of Islamic teachings In Islam believers are part of a broader community known as the ummah Establishing strong bonds within this community provides emotional support, shared values, and a sense of belonging. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam emphasized the importance of maintaining good relations with fellow Muslims, highlighting that believers are like a single body. When one part is in pain, the whole body feels it. Allah says in the Quran and worship Allah and associate nothing with him and to parents do good and to relatives orphans the needy the near neighbor the neighbor father away the companion at your side the traveler and those whom your right hand possess my dear brothers and sisters every day 
do something good to others without expecting anything in return except from Allah. It may be something very small but on a regular basis. Trust me, it will bring so much joy and happiness. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam even demonstrated immense kindness and compassion towards animals. Numerous hadith highlight his interactions with animals from showing kindness to a distressed camel to advising against overburdening animals. Islam acknowledges the therapeutic benefit of connecting with animals. Having pets like cats can provide companionship and alleviate stress. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned the virtue of kindness to animals and stories of his interaction with animals showcase the emotional depth of these connections. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam advises not to overburden the animals. Research in psychology and neuroscience supports the idea that connecting with others, with the humans or animals, has positive effects on mental health. Interaction triggers the release of oxytocin, the bonding hormone promoting feelings of trust and connection. My dear brothers and sisters, sharing a good word is also a charity and connecting with fellow humans. Share this video with the intention of helping others and earn a reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the end, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect you from all evils and bestow his blessings upon you. Please remember me in your duas too. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.